What is going on YouTube? It is Burgersaur and I'm back with a Guardians Rising booster box. This is my second booster box. I traded in a bunch of bulk to Cool Stuff Inc. Finally got my sealed product in. Let's open up this bad boy. And we're gonna go ahead and speed on through. I'm gonna try something where we're just gonna skip the un special, the not so special packs. And I still want you guys to see my pulls in order just to make sure everything is legit. This is not rigged, this is not scripted, but I just wanna share with you my really good pulls. So here you'll see me speeding on by, opening up the packs. Take a look at my background there. We got all the Bulbasaurs and Venusaurs and some Rowlet with the support on the sides. So here we go, the first two packs, nothing too amazing. I did get a lot of good reverse rares in this box though. Here we go, pack number three. Enjoy this code card. In case you don't know, I try to share a code card for every ultra rare that I pull. So please hope the best for me so I can share some uh, good stuff with you. So you got the Energy, Max Potion, Pseudo Wudo, Rescue Stretcher, Carvana, looking fierce, Fletchling, Litwick, that is a creepy card. Gothita is kind of creepy too. Pancham, a Pat Rat Reverse, and our rare is, ooh, Alolan Ninetales GX. That is a gorgeous card. I am super excited to add that to the collection. Let's see the back, ah, uh, not the best. So, I try to find really good cards in good condition. I don't trust buying cards anymore, like singles, because near mint or mint, according to other people, is never the best. So they're not worth grading. So I just have to pull them myself. So let's see what we get from pack number five here. Let's do our janky pack trick. We start off with the water energy, a field blower for some lawn care, Gotharita, Sable Eye, Whalemur. Trubbish, I kind of like that card. Jang Mo'o, Wimpod, Gumi, I love that little yarn thing. A Galele Reverse, and our rare is, ooh, Metagross GX Full Art. That is a very shiny card. I love all of the holographic shiny foil on that. That's really nice. The back looks pretty decent as well. We shall see if this gets graded. All right. Of course, another code card, please enjoy. And of course, I crumple that bad boy up so I don't use it myself. I try to be fair, if I show it to you guys, it is yours to use. So we're gonna speed on through. You saw that Beldoom? Beldoom is, oh, okay, I love the Vanillites. I am going to collect as many Vanillites as I can. Um, Kind of like I'm collecting all of the big malasadas from Sun and Moon that I pulled. I'm going to keep all of the Vanillites that I pulled. Anything that's Pokemon cards with food in them, that is pretty cool. If I am missing a card that you think I should collect because it has food in it, let me know. I want to collect all of the food cards because I love food. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, it's Burgersaur and I post pictures of, you guessed it, Pokemon and food. All right, we made it to pack number 10. I think there's something nice to show you guys in here, so let's get this pack trick done and see what we get. We got the grass energy, even though it is a leaf symbol, that's always bugged me. Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Tentacruel, Malo, Alolan Vulpix, looks like an alien but cute. Chansey, Petalil, Trubbish again. Maybe Trubbish is the sign that we get something good. Machamp, Reverse Gudra, and no freaking way. <laughs> we got a Secret Rare, or a Rain, no, yeah, Secret Rare Electric Energy. That is nice. And it just matches because this is a gold bordered card. It looks so good. Wow, very happy with that. Enjoy this code card. And I would really appreciate it. I'm sure the other viewers would add as well. If you use a code card, go ahead and leave a comment down below that you used it. And if you pulled something good, let us know because it's nice to know that people are taking advantage and getting some good pulls from these code cards. Also, I'd like to take the time now to ask you if you enjoy my videos, uh, go ahead and leave me a like on this one and don't forget to subscribe. That will keep me motivated to keep producing content I'm a lot more active on Instagram, but I'm trying to be, you know, continually active on YouTube as well. 
because I know that making videos is the big reason why I keep buying these sealed products. At least that's what I tell Mrs. Burger Sword. Let me buy this so I can open it on camera because other people will watch it. Don't make me a liar. I don't like lying. Maybe I should have planned it better so I'm not relying on other people to make sure I'm telling the truth. But you know what? That's the world I live in today. Ooh, I saw ice cream, ice cream Pokemon. They should make more Pokemon that look like food. I think that's what the, the what we're missing. Ooh, look at that Vicatini Hollow Rare. I'm really excited for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I saw something the other day on the internet where someone said those big empty spaces in Sun and Moon are where the Alolan, like the local Alolan gyms would be. If you remember in Sun and Moon, there's no uh, like gym system. So that's where we got the island trials and everything. So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. So we have pack number 20 here from this Guardian's Rising Booster Box. That's a lot of syllables. All right, we have our Fighting Energy, Malo, Altar of the Sun, Hakamo'o, Mudbray, Salandit, Stuffle, Slowpoke, Chillin', Wishy Washy, Halo reverse and a Como -O GX. I really like the GX cards. To me, they just are. I'm gonna count them as full arts, and therefore I will keep them in my binder collection. Enjoy this code card, y'all. Okay, so we are more than halfway through. We're gonna speed through these packs. See if anything here pops up that is kind of cool. Ooh, another Vanillite, nice. I have noticed from the recent packs that I've been opening, I remember from the older sets, it was really tough to get a reverse rare. Like the reverse foil card would always be like a common or uncommon, but I'm noticing a lot more reverse rares from packs and I'm not complaining at all. Ooh, nice Mimikyu hollow rare there. But I wonder, I really wonder how that happened uh, in terms of production. Why are the re reverses ending up being more rares? Or maybe I'm just being lucky. Soul Galeo. I kind of don't like how they have the white and then the green code cards. Because you you know right away if you see the code card. Uh, ooh, Galeo. If you see the code card, you know if you have a good pack or a bad pack. I really liked being surprised the whole way through uh, until you did the pack trick and revealed the final card. But I know that they had to uh, fix things up so that the people who would weigh packs like in the stores wouldn't be able to do it anymore. But yeah, it kind of ruins the surprise. Ice cream Pokemon. I've never weighed a pack before. I wonder what kind of scale that you would need. And then like if you had the most accurate scale, like if you could weigh even modern packs. I haven't looked into it too much just because I can't bring myself to do it. I'd feel so bad if I weighed packs. The only reason I would say to weigh packs and then be okay with it is if you open up like an older box and you sell packs that you tell people these are weighed so don't expect anything good. Okay anyways we're on to pack 29. Let's see what we get. We have a fighting energy beware Alomomula choice band Machop. I love the art on that Machop. Chansey Whistlin. Snorunt. Panjham. Bellsprout. That's Chandelure and a Turtonator GX. That's kind of cool. Turtonator is kind of a weird looking Pokemon. It kind of reminds me of, is, is it Birdie from like Super Mario 2? Enjoy the code card. But like, Turtonator just has that open beak or mouth or whatever and it's just, it stays open. And it's like, I wonder if this Pokemon is just gonna shoot something out all the time. It's kind of a threatening look. I guess that's what they're going for. But um, I kind of like the name, Turtonator. It's kind of an 80s or 90s vibe to it. Like a Schwarzenegger, Turtonator, something like that. Okay, we're almost done with this box here. 
We're down to our final few packs. Let's go ahead and speed on through. Oh, Turtonator. Who'd have guessed? All right. Ooh, the Blissey Hollow Rare. That was nice. And our second to last pack, pack number 35. Here's a new vocabulary word for you kids. Penultimate means second to last. So this is the penultimate pack. We start with our Grass Energy, Glalie, Watchog, Multi Switch, Alolan Geodude, Fledgling, Petalil, Beldoom, Questionable, Alolan Vulpix, a Reverse Comfy, and a Tapu Lele GX. Get out of here. <laughs> Wow, 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 second to last pack. That is some awesome penultimate magic right there. I can't even deal with this right now. Wow, wow. That was awesome. You know what? I'm gonna share this code card right here because I'm so happy and I'm gonna share this code card over there. That was such an awesome pull. Thanks for being here for being here to watch it. Wow. And then our last pack, we saw the green on the code card, so we know it's not special, but so freaking pumped from that pull. Okay, let us review. Let's take a look at what we got out of 36 packs there. The Nine Tails, we got the Secret Rare Electric. Oh, that Tapu Lele is the best pull. So we got a Secret Rare, a Full Art, and then a Tapu Lele, which might as well be something awesome. A final code card for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time.